Hello and welcome to the live stream. Uh, where am I? Here am I. Hello. First time I've live streamed in a year. Um, and that's one of the things tonight I'm actually going to talk about is my live streaming experience from, from last year, which if you weren't there was interesting. I've got a little video montage I'm going to show shortly. Um, as you can see, going to be playing a little bit of No Man's Sky tonight. Uh, which I've never played before, but I've always been interested because I love space so much. Um, and I believe this is just where you like roam space and do cool things. So we'll see what happens there. Also, we've got Joseph Baronio coming up. Um, a, he, he works at BTN at the ABC, and we're going to ask him some questions about that and how he's going. Um, also, we're currently streaming on uh, YouTube and Facebook. Great if you're watching on Facebook, that's nice, that's lovely for you, but I, I should just mention, if you go over to YouTube, it's slightly higher quality there, but that's up to you. Um, we are flying through space. That's nice. And what are all these, like, planets, constellations? Areas of space? It's beautiful. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in already, this is what I came for. Uh, the other thing about this evening is it's going to be very exciting to see what kind of technical issues we run into. Because, oh, well, yeah. Actually, I just noticed you're not getting the sound from, from this, and I want you to. So just one second before we begin initialization. Hold up, hold up. Ooh. Okay, Ooh. I'm out of control. I'm losing control already. Hang on, here we go. Ah, see, the setup is very complicated. I've just spent days trying to work out, you know, how to do this. So I'm just gonna, I just got to click the right thing here and then you can hear this. Oh, oh, yes, I know. I, I wrote it down. I've got a cheat sheet for what button to press. Um, I need to press B2 there. And then you should be able to hear this. Yes. All right. Begin initialization. So No Man's Sky, this is all I know about No Man's Sky, is it had a terrible launch in about 2016. No one liked it. It was terrible. But it's had a massive comeback. It's one of them comeback stories. And they just keep adding great updates to it. Uh, year after year until there was one just recently and i believe it's now highly multiplayer and such uh which is why i wasn't interested at first if it was just single player i'm like who cares but if i can run around space and bump into people and get up to some hijinks you've got my attention okay weather radioactive humidity i don't like the sound of that all right this is great unidentified material and I've got a laser. what environment is hostile and my protection's failing i need a scan for some survival resources okay well, my scan is damaged, so I feel like this is a setup. We need ferrite dust. Okay, fine. I can find ferrite dust. If I knew what it looked like. What was that at there? Ferrite dust. Yeah, all right. This is the kind of mining I can get behind. We got it. Am I actually done? Do I need a rush or? How much do I need? Just a bit more. OK. 
Okay, repair scanner damage. Mm hmm. Here's my scanner. Uh, repair. Repair. Yeah, repairment repaired. <clears throat> I know! Help me out here. Scan for sodium. Mmm. Bit of sodium. Tasty. Is, is this... What is this? Is there sodium in here? Okay, so we've got Starship launch fuel here. Um, sorry, sometimes the screen just goes a bit... Maybe I am dying. I think I'm dying. And I need to find sodium. Sodium. Oh no, these are like scientific symbols and stuff. I don't know, guys, what's H? I don't... There's O2 over there. I'm gonna die in the tutorial. Okay, I, I'm just... I'm just... Collect sodium. Harvest sodium from small yellow plants. This would be so typical if I... If I just died here. Is that a small yellow plant? No, that's ferrite dust. I'm the worst at... At the first levels of games. Oh my goodness. Give me a break. Okay, what is it? This? Is, no, that's mushrooms. Small yellow plants. Is it that? That's ferrite dust. <laughs> I'm not doing this on purpose. I'm just useless. I'm sweating already, actually. Small yellow plants. Surely it should just point them out to me. Is that it? Look, there's a leaf thing. Ah, oh, now I'm hurting myself. Flying badly. Is anyone there who can help me? Oh dear. Uh Sodium. Oh, it says right there. So I couldn't see it because of my camera. It's it's NA. It's NA or whatever. It's the sodium. So I found it. I found it. I've got the sodium. I know, I know what I'm doing, obviously. Oh, E. See, I've got the sodium. Everything's fine. Recharge the hazard protection, no worries. Easy. Yeah. Uh. Select. Charge hazard protection. Yes. Charge with sodium. Yes. As I might live after all in the science fiction future. Investigate your surroundings. I can do that. Alright, we've got Joseph Peronio coming up in about five minutes, everyone. I'll ask him some questions. This is environmentally hazardous. I want to go to one of them planets that's all nice with little creature things that you can turn into soup. That would be nice. This is... I don't know. I don't like this planet. Investigate. What should I investigate? Let's go this one. Use the scanner. Okay. Radiation protection falling. 
Essentially, I'd say, ooh, there's a creature. You think it's friendly? We'll find out. Ooh, there's several creatures. Heck. Hello, matey. Offer oh, food. There you go. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, sorry, mate. I'll find some. Oh, little creature. We need to get some creature pellets to feed these. Some guy's a bit shy. <laughs> <laughs> He's running as fast as he can. Alright. Um, we're going to get over here. This game's basically done what I thought like, Star Citizen should do. Because Star Citizen's aiming to do a lot of the same stuff as this one. But they're doing it all at once. And they'll probably not release for years. Whereas... I think this is the way to go. Just put it out, whatever you've got. Um, you know, make it the best you can, but put out a nice little space adventure game and then iterate, build on it until you've got your Star Citizen, which No Man's Sky is becoming like. I think Elite Dangerous did a similar thing. Am I going the right way? I better be going the right way. Yeah, I don't see any other signals that I should be following. Yeah, we're almost there. There's a big thing over there. Can you see that? Something flying. Well, I've got a laser. So we're all good. Recharge is free in your ship or in the shelter. Oh, is that my ship? I, it's damaged, but Radiation looks good. I know, I'm dying. Okay, what do we got here? Distress beacon. Light her up. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, broadcast. Let's broadcast. Maybe someone's going to come and help me from space. Radiation levels critical. I know. Well, here's my ship. Look at that. Ooh. I like it. Offline. Okay, so we're definitely not going anywhere, it looks like. Everything's offline. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of it before. That's relatable. Okay, just a sec, guys. Let me check on our, our special guest, see if he is almost here uh not just yet not just yet joseph baronio coming up shortly um where are we we are here and what have we got we've also got guys actually a topic of the day for today for the stream um because you need a topic for your discussions so the topic today drum roll is how are you that's the topic how are you we're going to be talking about how are you how am i i'm f i'm all right yeah thanks thanks for asking um how are you <laughs> that's the topic cool 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 and just a reminder if you're on the the facebook go to the youtube it's better. <laughs> but dude, you do you. And let's just get back to here for a moment. This ship seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I'm not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Connect exosuit. Yes. Hmm. Exosuit. 
connected. Suggestion pilot should perform maintenance. Thanks for the suggestion. Uh, let's repair the ship. Okay. Tell me what to do. Okay, our pulse engine's critically damaged, so we need some metal plating and a hermetic seal. Okay. Shall I go get that, shall I? Right. Mm -hmm. Guys, it doesn't look like I'm going to come across any exciting other planets or peoples just yet because I've got to fix my ship. And I need more ferrite dust. Perfect. That is just perfect. I know how to do that now though, so we're all good. Look at that, that's quite nice. Mm -mm -mm. Hello Mima, is this what I do in my free time? Sometimes. Do you mean talk to myself or what? Uh, quite a lot, oh it's night time now. Okay, ferret dust. Mima, how are you? That's the topic of the day. Did you see that? Topic of the day. How are you? How am I? I'm collecting ferret dust. So that I can survive. Craft metal plating to repair pulse engine. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Ooh, very alien clouds, and that is that is a ship or three. Hello, help! They won't see me. They're gone. Do something else. It's cool though. All right. Let's see. That is the topic of the day. How are you? Of course. And we've also got our special guest coming up in just a short moment. Um, our special guest is actually, let's check in the waiting room. Yeah, there he is. We've got um, Joseph Baronio coming up. There he is right there. Um, looking good. We can't hear him yet because that's that's how the waiting room works. We just look at him. <laughs> good. Looking forward to that. Just before that, I'd like to talk to you about um, my live stream last year because this live stream seems to be going relatively well so far. Um, for example, we've got uh, what have we got? We've got someone in the chat saying, big fella. Thanks, Oscar. This is your big fella. Um, and we've got some people on Facebook watching, so that's nice. Uh, and we've got a guest who we're, who we're about to get to. But last year when I did a week of live streams, um, it didn't go so well. And I'd like to show you a little video montage of, of how it went. Um, I, I encountered every technical difficulty that I think you could, and some streams were just, I don't know, public microphone tests, and not good ones either. So let's have a little look at this. I'll see you in a couple minutes. All right, all right. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Um, what I'm having is actually. I forget what's in it. This is good. This is good. The first person in the chat who, who guesses what I'm drawing here currently is gonna just be a legend. Test. Discount that bit. Yeah, that's a bit. I don't know if that should be there. I'm not lactose intolerant. Uh, not so friendly. Hey, we got sound. They can hear me. And they can hear the music. Everything's all back. Maybe not yours. We, we can't hear you. 
um, but probably can hear me. So this is kind of whack. Okay. The perfect um, meal and or snack, depending on how much you make. Let's switch over to here while I just try and fix something here. Some memories there. Anyhow. Seven of clubs. Let's have a look. Um, let's just look at this card above Kyle's. Where did it go? We need to work out which microphone it is. Can you hear me now in this microphone? Now you can't because I turned it off. You know, I'm surrounded by people and, and your people like watching me, but I feel very alone. Thomas, I can't hear you on your channel yet, no. Oh, that's my inventory and that's how I wield things. Say something. No, I can't hear you. Is this where he dies? I was about to watch it. <laughs> Have you offered up to the world this week? Oh, okay. I can hear me. I yes, I can hear me on your channel. I, I have something exciting that's uh, gonna happen on my channel. I, I swear. Betty, is it your birthday? Oh. And are you okay? <laughs> Tell you that these are the Ace of Clubs and the Eight of Clubs. That's right, that's the Eight of Clubs. Are we on dial-up? This is going to take a long time. And I will see you around. Sound right, boy. Wow, cool. <laughs> that was uh, that was live streaming last year. And now here we are. Look how we, far we've come. We've got the topic of the day. How are you? And we've got... Oh, that's not the screen I wanted. We've got... Uh, uh, what have we got? We got, do we have, yes, hello, uh, is that Joseph Baronio? Okay, we can't hear you actually, sorry, <laughs> I've done the, I've done a thing. Uh, here we go. Let's, let's save you from wherever I've put you. I've put you somewhere. Ooh. <laughs> um. Do you know sign language? We could do this all through sign language, probably. Mm. You've disappeared. I'll be honest. That's that's what you've gone and done. Here we go. Ah, got you. All right, we got you. How are you going? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Uh, Topic of well, the day. Mm, very good. Uh, I'm I'm quite well, thank you. Um, thanks for being here, uh, Joseph. Um, no worries. It's honour stream. to be on your first return to live stream. <laughs> it is quite an honour. You should be honoured. Um, I'm wondering, Joseph, just to begin, what are some words you might use to describe yourself? <laughs> um. Indecisive, disorganized chaos. <laughs> Brilliant. Spontaneous. There we go. Oh, spontaneous yeah, final word as well. well. Yep. Yeah, very there good. Go. Um, <laughs> and these days, Joseph, you're uh, you're you're working at BTN, aren't you, with the ABC? I am indeed. Yes. Behind, Behind the, news. the news. Behind the news, not in front of the news. No, yes. And uh, what, what do they call you over there? What's your role there? My role is yeah. um, I'm, a, I'm a reporter. So, um, yes, I'm uh, on the show regularly, usually. Well, we have two shows with BTN. We have News Two Break. shows? Yeah, yes. we have News Break, which is a daily show. Uh -huh. um, and then we have BTN Classroom, which comes out weekly. Um, so news breaks just like a five minute show that runs at 625 on ABC me every day. 
and um, Classroom is a 25 minute show that runs once a week. So yeah. There you go. Did you watch um, BTN as a youngster? I did after school. I'd usually watch it on telly. I know down here in South Australia and in a lot of places uh, like Queensland and New South Wales, Victoria and stuff, they actually watch it at school in classes, which I never really realized until I started working at BTN. Right. But yeah. Um, yeah, apparently that was quite popular. So yeah, you know, it's, it's pretty cool to, you know, be in classrooms across the country every week. So, you know, yeah. Yeah, not many people can say that uh, <laughs> unless you're a teacher. Uh, <laughs> I should point out, we've got Tori in the Facebook chat saying that um, she's amazing or sad, which is an interesting response to the topic of the day. Um, I don't know. Do you, I mean, if, if you had a kid come up to you, Joseph, as a children's TV guy, um, and they said they, they felt amazing and sad, how would you react to that? I would uh, try focus mostly on the amazing bit um, because they seem like quite conflicting um, feelings to, to have. They a, do. I feel like it's hard to be amazingly sad. Well, I think it's easy to be amazingly sad, but to be amazing and sad. You're absolutely right. Is, yeah. Mm. Interesting. But, you know, I'd like to know more of how that's, that's possible. Yes, Tori. please tell us more, Tori. And in the meantime, <laughs> Joseph, I'd I'd love to have a quick little um, gander, if you don't mind, at uh, some of your some of your work here. I, oh, would good. any of these oh, be your favourite? Which one could we watch? Oh, good question. Um, oh, who have we got there? Athletes Precious. That was the one I did last week. Mm -hmm. um so skate park kid oh mm. i am quite proud of budget 2021 or even athlete brushes isn't bad the latest one i think those two are probably some of my favorites all right let's go with your latest one athlete pressures <laughs> um we'll have a little look at As a bit of what does it take to be a world-class athlete to be an elite athlete, you need to have a lot of, you need to be determined. It also takes a lot of courage. Well, a lot of training, a lot of courage, really. Yep, as much as we may dream of being the best and enjoying all the rewards and glory that comes with it, we also know that it's hard work. But for every hour an elite athlete spends playing or training, they're also spending way more time doing other stuff you might not even think about. Oh! Whether it's traveling to events, making sure they eat, drink and rest properly, promoting brands and products, or attending press conferences and talking to the media. It's that last one that's got a lot of people talking right now. Because for some athletes, it's not just another responsibility. It can be a really difficult and sometimes upsetting part of the job. At least tennis star Naomi Osaka thinks so, because it recently led to her pulling out of the French Open. See, before the event starts... Awesome. Now, what is the, what's the hardest thing about making a, a video like that? The hardest bit? Ooh, um... I think the hardest bit is this sort of getting all the relevant information. <laughs> yes, the hardest bit, I think, is, is getting all the relevant information and mm. then putting it all together in a structure that flows nicely and is worded in a way that's engaging and, yeah, and then working in, like, um, piece to cameras and, you know, what, what kind of, um, yeah, what elements of the story you don't have to really visually show with um, sourced vision, what stuff you can film yourself. Um, so, yeah, coming up with a role play can sometimes be a bit difficult depending on what stories you get. Um, this one, because it's based around uh, the whole Naomi Osaka situation when she pulled out of the French Open, it was pretty easy, you know, to come up with a tennis-based role play, but... 
for like the budget story that I did a few weeks back, coming up with some kind of creative treatment for that to make that to make because how do you make the federal budget interesting to to school kids? You know, it's not interesting right. to me or to many other people who really looks into it much. So coming up with something creative and interesting for that, where you can still get all the information, all the necessary information across, mm. that can be a bit difficult sometimes. But it's very rewarding at the end of the day when you see the the finished product. Mm, yeah, it's like I'm always impressed when I watch these BTN clips of how you ride the line between the entertainment and the information. Like you can mm. very easily tip one way or the other, but you're always walking that line, which is pretty cool. That's it. It's, it's a fine line and sometimes we tip further one way than the other, but <laughs> that's why we have producers to tell us off. Oh, great. <laughs> um, Joseph, let's go deep. Um, oh, okay. No, not that deep. But um, what do you? Why do you think you um? What draws you to all this kind of work? Why have you been so interested in video work and presenting and performance and all this creative work? Do you think apart from being a narcissist? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> We're all narcissists. No, but yeah. Any other reasons? Well, no. I just like looking at myself. Ah, so it is the narcissism. So you like this, do you? What I've got on the screen here. This is you. Yeah, I'm looking at myself in the corner and on the screen there. It's so good. You look Just good in the in the tennis outfit. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. The executive producer made a comment on my legs when we first watched the story before it was released. So well, that sounds like, inappropriate. I, but... Well, look, I just took it as a nice compliment and didn't think anything <laughs> of it. So, that is um, nice. No, I think, yeah. I've, I've always... For, well, for a long time at least, done um, like circus performance and drama. And it's something that I, I just I just really enjoy it. I enjoy, and the people I work with, of course, as well, like um, yourself, Thomas, when we've made films up in Darwin, Nathaniel mm. Kelly, Max Conaghan. Um, yeah, everyone that I, that I work with, I really enjoy working with. It's always a good time. We have a laugh. And yeah, even with BTN, um, although we do have to take it still quite seriously, Everyone has a good time. We all have a laugh. It's like making a, a short film with all your friends. And if anyone who is watching who has made a short film with their friends, you know what I mean. It's really good fun. And if you haven't made a short film with your friends, do it. I recommend it. It's good fun, a good experience, and you'll get a cool product at the end of it. Yeah. Um, what's that behind you? Ap apropos of nothing, but um, that looks great, oh, that piece of art over your left shoulder. This it's yes, it is quite. It's <laughs> it's quite an interesting piece of art. This. Um, I'll see. Like, where is it? Oh. Uh, here it is. It's um, a portrait. Portrait of uh, myself, and wow. this is a good friend of mine, Slavi from Darwin, and this is another friend of mine, Tom. Um, yeah, we got this portrait painted of us at um, an interesting event in in Adelaide. Um, and the guy who painted it, his name was Picasso. And um, oh. if you've seen Australia's Got Talent in the past year or so, you probably would have seen him on there. He does paintings with his um, um, his, his chap, his, his manhood. So instead of using, <laughs> okay, instead I get of using you. a brush, yeah. Yes. That's, Wait, so that's one of those? That's one of those. That's oh, painted. my word. Painted with with manhood, so I've got to be careful how I how I handle it. Otherwise, I'll touch the wrong bit of it. But um, yeah, wow, it's a bit of a, an interesting story behind it. That must it. be it's worth a, a lot. Yeah, it cost us a whole twenty dollars. Which you didn't need you know. that week, I suppose. <laughs> but, yes. um, uh, Joseph, I'm, I'm also wondering. Uh, if there are any other shows you remember watching as a kid, any other TV that uh, you particularly mm. remember watching a bunch of as a as a kid, or ones that um, you still remember? Round the Twist always comes to mind. Ah, oh, that's I what I was going to bring up. Yeah, Round the Twist. Yeah, yeah. I was watching one, it, it? Uh, watching a bit of it last week actually, because I think it's on Netflix. Um, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was watching. Um, yeah, I watched a couple of ep oh, three episodes from the first season, and oh, just yeah, it's such. I think that's going to be one of the all-time great shows. And also, mm. Prank Patrol. 
I was talking about this the other day. I loved Prank Patrol and Scott Tweedy. Yeah, mm. in the office of BTM, we were talking, we were having a bit of discussion of um, ABC three presenters. Where are they now? Kind of thing. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, so those shows really stood out to me. Yeah, um, that's brilliant. Um, I just want to point out. Um, so Tori is talking about an acronym, an acronym to decide describe today. I don't quite get it. I tried to put together your previous comments and I got chows. I don't know if I'm doing it right. An acronym to describe today. Are you asking me? Is that a question? That's not sad. I guess we're just having a miscommunication here on the Facebook chat. Um, it's also probably largely because there's a delay on the Facebook. That's why, um, actually I do recommend if, if, if anyone feels like it, go to the, the YouTube because there's, there's no delay there on the chat. <laughs> uh wonderful um joseph you make btn in adelaide what are the good the greatest things about adelaide city Ooh. well it's actually quite similar to darwin in a lot of ways it's just like a um because I grew up in Darwin. I'd never lived anywhere else before I came down here. Adelaide's kind of like a scaled up, colder version of Darwin. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's easy to get around. The people are all quite chill. Um, yeah. And apparently, and it is one of the most livable cities in the world as well. I think it I won hear it. that. Yeah, yeah. I hear Which, that. It does I, sound good, yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. I'd say it's quite, it's a very livable city. Most of the year, the weather's very palatable. At the moment, it's not. It's freezing. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Um, just a tech question for you, Joseph, since this is a first mm. live stream here. When I do this, does the screen go black? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I and wondered that. Uh, yeah, no, it wasn't meant to, but now I know. Yeah. <laughs> and knowing is half the battle. Uh, right, see, see, we're still overcoming these uh, technical speed humps, but yeah. don't you worry. By next live stream, it'll be polished. It's all part of the fun. Um, all right. I just got a couple last things I want to ask you here, Joseph. Do you know anything about this game, No Man's Sky? Uh, apart from hearing of the name before, absolutely nothing. I'm uh, yes, I'm, I'm. I'm not really a gamer personally quite an interesting person to have on to your live stream, but you know, well, I'm only very questionably any kind of gamer. I don't know if you saw anything of what I was doing before you came on, but I'm struggling with the tutorial here. Um, <laughs> I don't even think I was supposed to go in the shit there. Um, but I like, this is quite pretty, isn't it? Like this, I'm on this alien it planet is. or something. Yeah, it is a very nice looking game. I'll give it that. I think next so time we're going to, well, next time I'm probably going to play a game that I actually, I know what I'm doing in so I can look slightly more kind of cool and professional. Didn't do I'll that this time. So you've got a selection of games that you're going to be getting through. Is it going to be a different one every week? A different one every, every time until, unless I decide otherwise. Yeah. I'm in no. control. It's my stream. I do what I want. Got it. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just, yeah, got I'm it. Look, and I can make you look, I'm going to make you disappear or. Oh. That was it. Disappear. See, so, yeah, I can get rid of him anytime. Sorry about that. Um, just got to show that I am in control sometimes. <laughs> Assert your dominance, Tom. Um, Joseph, is there anything? This is the last thing, a formal question I have for you. Is um, what's something you're looking forward to? Uh, it could be uh something on BTN or another project or in your personal life or the weather or a season or a movie or a party or just something you're looking forward to. What am I looking forward to? I'm, I am looking forward to, Oh my gosh. Why is this the hardest question for me to answer? <laughs> what am I looking forward to? You, I... you have to, we'll sit here until you think of something. I'll just be playing this. So you've got all the time in the world. Actually, there's no rush on this show. That's what's nice about it. You, we could no sit here in silence for five minutes. And actually, we should, but no, unless you've got an answer, so it's up to you. 
Oh, um, hmm. I just repaired something on my ship. Um, what was it? I forget already, <laughs> but I have to repair it if I'm going to fly, I think. You know, I'm looking forward to you repairing your ship entirely and then flying it. <laughs> that is a good answer, Joseph. You, you know, you always make me feel better about myself. And that is what I, one, one of the many things I like about you. Oh, my God. Um, can I ask you another question, technical? When I do this, does the screen go black? Nope. Nope. Still could see the game the whole time? Yep. Super. Okay. <laughs> Joseph, tell yeah. you what, thanks so much for coming on. No worries. Thank you for having me. It's been As a I blast said, to chat to you. Yeah. Likewise. Sorry. Sorry. I, I just talked all, I said, I, I gave you room to speak and then I talked all over you. It's my first time. Um, uh, this is the most but, unprofessional interview I've ever been a part of. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any any social media you'd like to share? No. Or do you? Yeah, I'm happy to plug anything if you watch uh, BTN. I can say that. Yeah. Watch BTN, news break, 6 25 p.m. ABC Me every weeknight. And uh, BTN Classroom is on ABC iView and. You can find clips on YouTube as well. It's all there. It's all good to watch. You'll learn some stuff. I'll in, I'll be happy that more people are watching. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. All right. Thanks, Joseph. All right. I'll... Thank you very much, Thomas. Enjoy the rest of the game. Catch you around. See you later. Oh, no, he, he beat me. He disappeared before I could do this smooth transition. <laughs> you win. You win. All right. We've just got a few more minutes on the stream, everyone. I'm just going to see if I can fix up this ship any more than I already have. Uh, again, remembering our topic of the day. How are you? How are you? Um, and no, that's all I want to say. That's the topic of the day. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> Unable to synthesize required components. What's the point of you? Pulse engine requires hermetic seal. Request assistance. Hermetic seal nearby. Salvage planetary chart from a distress beacon. Okay. I think I can do that. How do I get out of the ship? I know how. <laughs> um, how good was Joseph just then? What a charmer. He's good on BTN. Um, and it's a good show. They're lucky to have him and he's lucky to have them. It's, it's a twofer. Planetary chart recovered. Open the inventory tab. This is a map of a nearby planet. Okay. I like the chart. Use E to plot a route. Woo! Here we go. Okay. Quite a view. What did we just do exactly? Reach the marked coordinates. Not in the ship. I just got to walk or what? Oh, yeah, I've got to walk, I guess. The ship still doesn't work at all. Hello. Oh. It was an accident. <clears throat> I didn't do anything there. I didn't do anything bad. That's where we're headed, just over there. I'm not gonna hurt you. Let's see. 
Okay. Can I sprint? Yes, I can. I should have been doing this a while ago. I can sprint. These look cool. Oh. Other buttons. Incoming storm. That'll be it. Oh, jeez. Yes. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh. Okay. What? My jetpack's having issues. And there's a crazy alien storm coming. Life support systems at 50%. This is. I feel like 90% of this game so far is just telling me you're doomed. You're about to die. This is not going well at all. You're absolutely stuffed. I feel it. I feel it. You don't need to tell me twice. Okay, I'm not liking this. Do I need to take cover? It's probably best to take cover, but I'd kind of like to get to my destination. I know! <laughs> this is the storm. What is this? Unidentified material. Advanced laser required. Seek shelter in caves or buildings. I didn't realize that was what I needed to be doing. Uh oh. What caves or buildings? Is this a... Is this protection? I don't think that's protection. There... I don't see... I don't exactly see caves or buildings. Scan. That's no help. I'm just... I'm just gonna die. I'm just... I'm dying. This is the end. Uh, what am I? Should I? I should have gone in those. Should I? Or what? I'll just hide behind this. I don't think that helps. Radiation damage nope. Detected. Caves. Is that a cave? That's just rocks. This is just an anxiety stream. I'll be honest. It's an anxiety sandwich with, with a nice, calm, lovely Joseph right in the middle. And you've had your Joseph, and now you're just getting back to this anxiety and death. And nothing's going well. Storm clearing. You're right, Oscar. I mean... It was an accident, though. It was an accident. Oh, things are colourful now. But I am dying, I think. Oh my god. Is that my HP at the top left there? Because if so... This is the end. And these are my final words. I lost my destination. Uh, I don't even... Oh, it's down there. <laughs> They're buildings. See, I need to get in there. If I can get in there, I might survive. This is my final challenge, everybody. To just survive the long, the long alien night. Okay, so that's been my first live stream for the year. Hoping to do some more. Gonna have some guests, play some different games, not this one so much. We might come back to this one, but... Look, it's peeved me off a little bit. And I'm not coming back to it soon. <laughs> I killed an alien and I died in the tutorial. So we'll play something that I, I'm good at, something really easy. Um, and we'll talk about other things. And thanks for joining me. Remember the topic of the day, how are you? 
thanks for telling me how you are, a couple of people. And I will see you around. I'm going to end the stream now. Which I know how to do. I know how to do it. It's just one of these buttons here. It's just over here somewhere. Oh, oh. Here we go. I'm going to end it. Now. Uh, uh, bye, everyone.